Hello, dear friend. You're welcome again to our series on proper electrical house wiring. Okay, so if you have been following me from the beginning, we started with the wiring, and then the recent video in this series showed how to carry out inspection, and then um, continuity test, and also polarity test. Okay, here, the next test we are going to carry out is the insulation resistance test. Good. But then, there is something I want to do before we move on to the insulation resistance test. Good. The last video I posted in the series showed how to carry out continuity test in the wiring itself. And then later we added the meter, the main isolator, and then we connected the main cables from the meter to the consumer unit. And so you realize that in the consumer unit, there is a point where the neutral must be connected and then a point where the live must be connected. Good. Now, from the meter here also, there is a point where neutral must be connected and there is a point where live must be connected to the consumer unit. And so we are going to do our final continuity test on the main supply cables to make sure that neutral is connected to where neutral is supposed to be. And then live is also connected to where live is supposed to be. All right. So particularly what we are going to do is actually polarity test because polarity test ensures that if you are taking live from here, it must be connected to the live point at where it is going to terminate, okay? But we are going to use the continuity method to do that polarity test. All right, so in testing for polarity and continuity, the procedure of the testing is the same, but the intention of the two tests are different. Okay, so with the polarity test, we want to be sure that if we expect to have live at this particular terminal, then when we go to the consumer unit also, we are expecting this very live to be connected to where the live is supposed to be connected in the consumer unit. So that is what we are checking. We want to check if this cable that is connected to live here is actually connected to the live terminal in the consumer unit. So that is the intention for doing polarity test. You want to make sure that the cables are connected at the right terminals that they are supposed to be connected. On the other hand, continuity finds out if the cable that is connected from this point to the point in the consumer unit is continuous without any break. But the testing procedure is the same thing. Because in the testing procedure, we are going to use one of the test leads here and then the other test lead at the right terminal in the consumer unit. So by doing polarity test, we can also ascertain continuity of that particular line. We want to check the polarity of the main supply cables. And in this case, checking for polarity will also help us to find out if the cables are actually continuous. All right, so if you look closely, the consumer unit has been assembled in such a way that the input supply is connected at the top part of these two pole breaker. And if you observe again, you realize that the live conductor is connected to the terminal on the left, and then the neutral conductor is connected to the terminal on the right. Now, basically, we are going to make sure that the live connection from the meter is what is actually connected here. And then the neutral connection from the meter is what is actually connected here. So that is the test we are going to do now. Good. To start with, we have to set our meter to continuity test. All right, so if you are not yet familiar with how to set the meter for continuity test, you can, um, I have shared a video under this very one. You can assess it and then be very sure of how to do that setting. Okay, so we set the 
meter to continuity. This is our live connection from the isolator to the meter. And that is continuous for sure. Then the next thing we check is the live to the consumer unit. So as I said earlier, the live from the meter is connected at the left terminal of this two pole breaker. And so the test result shows that it is exactly where it is meant to be. We move to the neutral, the neutral from the isolator to the meter is also continuous. And then from the meter to the consumer unit, this is where it is supposed to come to. And the test is also confirming that the writing was done. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Please, if this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe so you can get notification for the subsequent videos. All right, so the next video I'm going to do on the insulation resistance test, it's um, a little bit lengthy. And so I will end this one here and then tackle that part on its own. Thank you very much again. See you in the next video.